a symbolic hoisting of the national flag accompanied by the singing of the national anthem took place at the School for Special Education on Wednesday. Corporal Pauline Sandy says the department saw it fitting that students know the history of Grenada. School for Special Education and St. Louis RC Girls were the two schools selected to roll out the initiative for this year. Well, it's mainly to educate the children on the etiquette of the flag, the do's and don'ts, to inform them about the laws relating to the flag, and um, to also um, give them that sense of patriotism and pride in the national flag. As um, over the years we have all learned as history has taught us that the flag is, has been one of the most important aspect of our independence. It is that symbol by which we are known worldwide. It is one of the um, things that were hoisted on the night, used on the night of our independence to, um, to show our sovereignty and finally break away from the United Kingdom in terms of our political and social will as an independent nation. In principal, Patricia William Prince welcomed the idea of involving students in the practical session. She agrees it's an opportunity to gain knowledge on the nation's history. Today with the hoisting of the national flag is a nostalgic one and a very historic and pertinent one at this time. We are celebrating 46 years as a nation on Friday. And as a school, we want to we expose our children to all aspects of history as possible. And today, having a practical demonstration of the hoisting of a flag was very relevant to let the children understand the importance of one of our national emblems, the national flag. In the classroom, students were taught about the different spices, national emblems, including the coat of arms. They participated in the preparation of indigenous foods, which will be on sale tomorrow at the school's compound. Mrs. Prince is convinced that as a nation, celebrating 46 years, much has been achieved. We had such an emotional moment when the flag was being hoisted there, you know. Colonization to me had its time, its past. As with any person, when you're independent, you're left on your own. There are trials and error. You learn from your mistakes and you go on. So I would say we have achieved in that. We have our own. almost, And we are here to make our own decisions and learn as we go on along the way. You know, the important thing is acknowledging our mistakes, learning from them, and not repeating them. Chris Lena John, GBN News.